learn how to make a fake 3D room. Face paint, real. Face blood. First, I'm going to get the liquid latex, open it up, grab some latex with the Q-tip, and apply it right on my arm where I want it. So I'm going to have the scar right around here. Try not to get too big of clumps, because it'll make it harder later on to dry it. You're also going to need a hair dryer to speed along the process. It's not required, but it would definitely help. So this is about where my scar wants to be. Try making extra fat so you can pull back some of the fake skin later on. Okay, so if that's it, put that down. I'm gonna use the hair dryer. Now once it is mostly dried, right here, um, I'm going to get the tissue that we got. Right here. So this is a regular piece of uh, not very any uh, tissue, and I'm going to break it into itself. So I'm going to rip it in half to make it as thinnest as it can be. So as we have it, as we have it right here, it's as thin as it can be. Now back on my arm, I'm going to get I'm going to put another layer on top of our old layer. Try to get as tight as we can. tissue on top of it. This is going to act as our skin. I'm going to try to smooth it out. It should stick to the liquid latex. Uh, if not, then uh, I see a problem. <laughs> but it will. Um, so now that it dried, or I don't know if it dries, but after you stick it on, I'm going to stick one more layer of latex on. right on top. We're in the same place where it is, but now there's a layer of latex, and then, or two layers of latex, and then now there's going to be tissue, and another layer of latex. It's going to all blend it together. Okay. I'm going to get back out my hair dryer. dried off and now I am going to rip off the edges. I do it after but you can do it while it's wet. It just doesn't really matter. So this is what I have so far. Now just to kind of get the edges off I'm going to just apply a small layer of latex just to the sides. The tissue on my skin. Doesn't have to be very good. Uh, it can stick up. Like it's not bad. It's gonna look all gory and stuff. But whatever. I'm gonna get back out the magic hair dryer. The next step we're going to need is we're going to need uh, tweezers. So once we have the tweezers and we're going to start, this is going to be my cut right here. I'm going to start on one end with a small little hole. So now that I have my hole, I'm just going to grab it and start pulling this way. So now this is going to be my scar, and this is going to be kind of the skin. Now I'm going to use the tweezers to just pull back a little bit, so it looks more like it's skin is coming off around it. And 
that's our basic for the actual scar. Now this idea of skin and now I'm going to grab my paintbrush or any brush that I have. You can also use makeup brushes, some of them. And now I have my paint platter, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to get my brush just slightly damp. And then I'm going to grab some of the red. I'm going to start by just laying the inside with red. Really, the more red you have on there, the more kind of gory it looks. I'm now going to get another paintbrush and just get it just black. You don't need very much black, you're kind of on the very tips. Now, as you have the skin pulled up, or the liquid latex, I'm going to try to get as far kind of underneath of the skin as I can. This is going to make it look deep and very, kind of very, yeah, just deep. And you can use your finger to kind of blend it in. I'm going to get some more red. Have another coat over this. So you just start for a wound. Now I'm just going to get some red. Or, no, I'm just gonna, never mind, I'm going to get some, kind of some weird green color right here. And this is going to start making like the old rotten kind of flesh wound. I, this is more kind of for zombies, but you really can do it for anything. This is going to make it look old and just kind of disgusting. So I'm just going to grab the green and just start placing it around my wound. Try to get it more of like a camouflage green and more, more of a dark green rather than a neon bright green. Just to make it kind of go into your skin a little bit better. basics but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to get more of a lighter green right here. More of a skin color this one. I'm going to put just some more on it just to kind of bring it out and make it not all look the same. I'm going to use a makeup sponge to dab the red kind of around my wound. And now this is where I'm going to use fake blood. This is vampire blood, and this works too. But I'm actually going to use some of my home brewed uh, fake blood. You can probably find that somewhere else on my counter. I'm going to get a Q-tip and start dabbing the inside of my wound with fake blood. So there's how to make a realistic fake scar. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I will be listening to your comments if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you. Bye.